Given that f of x equals 3x minus 2 and g of x equals sine of x, find f composed as g of x. Remember this, uh, some people say fog, uh, this composition of function simply means that we're saying f evaluated at g of x. So I'll say f of sine of x because g of x is sine of x. All right, so I've substituted, instead of writing g of x, I've written sine of x, or sine x. And now I'm going to take this entire sine x, and I'm going to plug it in wherever I see x in the f function. So f of sine of x then equals 3 times, instead of x, I'm going to write sine of x or sine x, and then I'll finish with minus 2. And that's it. That is f composed as g of x. Now, going the other way, if you want to think of it like that, I'm going to say that g is the larger function, and I'm going to plug f, the f function, into g. So I like to think of it like that, larger and, and bigger function. It, it, that just makes it um, very visual for me. It might work for you as well. So this is g. g is the larger function. And into that function, I'm plugging in the smaller function f of x. Now, I'm not saying that f of x is necessarily a smaller function uh, abstractly, but just visually. I, I'm taking this little packet and plugging it in wherever I see x um, in, the, in the g function. So that's g of, I'm going to write this f of x function. That's 3x minus 2. Now here's the big, the big jump here. This 3x minus 2 is the entire, and we're going to plug this entire thing in for x in the g function. So g of 3x minus 2 equals sine of 3x minus 2. I've just, I've just substituted. Instead of writing x, I've written 3x minus 2. So this sine of 3x minus 2 is the, um, the comp composition of functions g and f. So there's a couple examples of the composition of functions.